Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this series of Crusader Kings 2. This is the YouTuber Succession game, and things are going pretty well. We've got a new betrothal um, with another genius. The previous genius lost her genius because of bad upbringing, so we divorced her. The Pope actually said yes. Uh, one thing which just occurred to me, actually, is we can try and become your guardian uh, so that we can raise you how we want you raised. First of all, we'll need to bribe you. You have now been bribed. Um, so who should be your guardian? Should it be me? Do I have any other geniuses in my nation? I mean, you probably want to be a diplomat. So we're going to search our realm. Uh, it can be anyone. Don't care if they're married. Uh, they need to be my religion. They need to be my culture. Do we have any geniuses, first of all? We do, we have a couple. So the mayor of Droitwich is a potential good one, though his relations are a little low. Again, something that money can fix. Uh, although all of you are intricate web, well, not intricate web weavers, you're actually really, really crap. So diplomacy would be the next one I would want to look at. You're also a Why were you not appearing in that list? You were, you're there, huh? Um, hello? Why are you not sorting properly? There you go. We could go for the Duke of Mercia, who is shrewd, trusting, ambitious. You know what? You would be a pretty good person to raise her. And you're only 17. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, you also wouldn't be bad. I mean, all of these people are poor Marshall, but I'm okay with that. I think I'd try and get you to uh, become the Guardian. Can I choose who? What's your name? Gwen no, I can't. Let me try again. I would like... Ah, she doesn't appear in this list. So it has to be from the list given here. Now they would accept as well. Good. So if we went with a steward, you would train her to be learning. Grey Eminence. I think you really are the best option. We're going to go with that. Okay, cool. Okay, good. So she is now being guarded by him. He hopefully will be sound. Can I see what she's been trained in? Humility, that's acceptable. Okay, cool. The peasants of Sussex are quite far apart and spread out. Your spy master, Nachman of Mizan, suggests investing. How's the, uh, hmm, quest going? You really dislike me. You potentially could be persuaded with the right influences. Hmm. Farnham. You have stopped upgrading. Dirk Bertrold has formed an alliance with Duke Shack. Loyal surgeons such as I surely deserve some recognition and rewards from time to time. It's widely known you hold huge lands, many titles. Uh, no. Piss off. Any powerful vassals require an advisor position? No. Oh, my steward just died. Olwyn, you are terrible at everything. I think I've just found my advisor. There you go, Olwyn. I'll listen to you, honest. Which means I have free reign to choose my steward. Uh, I think I'm going to choose you to be my steward. Make me some money, please. I'm putting a lot of trust in you. I better bribe you. Important decisions, such as another tournament. Recruit a court. Oh. 
Someone's bumping up my physicians, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, do, 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 ooh. Okay. I can abolish council power soon. I'll need to do some preparation for that, but it's fine. We, we can manage. So important decisions. Recruit court physician. That's a minor title. Court physician. Jacques would be the best option. Although you are a poet, you are not actually a physician. So how about we bring in a physician? We'll see if anyone answers the call. You are dreadful. Nope. Hire another one. Oh, I can only do that every three years. Fine, I'll pick someone with a high learning and hopefully they don't botch it. We'll go with the old guy. No, we'll go with the young one. Jacques. Duke Jacques the Wise. Peasant Revolt. Where are the peasants? Ossery. That's over here. Bad peasants. Naughty peasants. Kill the peasants. <clears throat> uh, so I should probably have a look at who my commanders are as well. Because I have not done that yet. Uh, it's council. Small titles. Uh, I don't want to piss you off. And in fact, I want to bribe you. I don't want you murdering me. Uh, otherwise, we're probably okay. Change you. Uh, actually, our commanders are kind of rubbish. So, Philippe's going to take the field. Together with Ethelweird. And... Egmund. No, Egmund would not appear. You're actually beginning to like me more and more. A bribe might actually sort you. But if they have a negative relation, then they will not join you in a battle. So we have to field someone else. Arranged marriage has been received from Edward of Altonia. You want to marry Brigida, King of Saxony. Oh, yeah, I accept that. That's fine. You can have her. Alright, here comes the battle. Duke Edmund II of Northumbria has provided me with proof that Eight Seek of Lancaster is plotting. You want control of the Bisphoric of Skipton. Why do I have control of the Bisphoric of Skipton? Where is the Bisphoric of Skipton? Swore to stay out of factions. Damn right he did. Oh, look at that. We won the battle. And the rebels are now gone. Right, you can head home. Throw him in jail. Boom. Right, now we have someone that we can hang and uh, sacrifice the offer. Oh, wait. We don't do that, do we? Kent has been a success. Visit him. Made understand. Also, you don't need to be converting there no more. Let's get back to researching the cultural tech. In fact, I think I'm going to do all of you just technology now. Like, we're not at war. We don't need the soldiers. Money is actually fairly decent right now. Sussex is doing well and prospering. So is Middlesex. Fantastic. So that's level... What? Two. One. One. It says down here what the level is. Two. Two. Cool. I approve. So I'm going to say that we are close enough to a thousand in money. So we may as well go visit the blacksmith and get some better armor. Search for a... Why can't I do this? I have a marshal. Do not own any armor forged by an armorsmith. Oh.
Does not own any weapons forged by a weaponsmith. Does not own any armor forged by an armorsmith. So I'd have to get rid of both. One of the following must be true. Has not attempted to employ a smith. That's fine. Yeah, so I just need to not have any jewels or armor or weapons. So I can get rid of my splint. Because I strongly suspect I can get something better than splint. So we're going to get rid of you. Can I unequip it? Is that going to be enough? No. I actually have to get rid of it. Rid, rid of it. Alright, we're going to get rid of it. Destroy it. Yes. Now, find me a smith. I want armor. And hopefully there is a kind of armor which is better than splint. <laughs> Bunch of minor things, don't care. How old are you? How are you doing? Still genius? Still genius. A bit depressed, that's not good. Three more years. My martial art dwarf of YouTube is told me about a remarkable armorsmith residing in Dorset. He suggested that I invite the woman to my court to see her work for myself. She managed to impress me. I could order my own custom-made item. A fine idea. Go for it. Once Marshal Edwolf had assured me the armorsmith's courtmanship left nothing to be desired. I received her in the throne room. She introduced herself as Mistress Averith and gestured towards a numerous assistant who all carried examples of her work. Does my emperor have anything special in mind? I'm in need of protection. Make me something strong and modern. A set of armor, I see. An excellent choice, my emperor, says Mistress Elfrith, and calls for assistance, cradling three sets of armor in her arms. I have three excellent examples of different quality levels here. One must determine what one needs and how much one is willing to pay. However, they should all serve his highness well. So that will cost a grand. No, I need... Craft me something of fact. Wait. Three examples. There's something higher than a thousand? I wish I knew about the whole smithing thing, because I have a feeling I just threw away a thousand. Having decided to check up on Mistress Elfrith's progress, I strolled over to the forge. I could not find her working on the projects I commissioned, but instead working on different tasks, specifically my vassal. Okay, you're, you're, you're doing the Guardian. Okay, fine. Um, I don't care. Enjoy. <coughs> I am unwell. Avoid spices and fatty foods. That's actually a reasonable treatment. Farnham has built some walls. Let's go and upgrade Farnham. I would like... Oh, I just need money. I now I'm fevered. That's not good. I would like to become tolerant. Uh, temperate even. Please don't die. 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 Pretty please. With a cherry on top. Uh oh. I'm vomiting. I thought you already married her. Oh, this is someone else. Fine. How is that idiot still alive? It's because there is no way of us improving that. I'll just keep trying. Food poisoning. Offers a treatment for the illness. He explains there are several different types on offer. Know what you're doing. Do any what's necessary. Or oh, sounds scary and I become a coward. No. As long as you know what you're doing. You have a high learning, so I trust you. Duke Jack brought a concoction made from buckthorn and senna. At first you thought the potion ineffectual, but later the same day you felt a churning in your bowels, which sent you running for the privy. As he howled in anguish, Jack assured you that the foulness was expelled from your feces. Alright. Good treatment. Good treatment. I'm most sorry, my emperor. 
Edfrith said apologetically, the armorsmith has informed me that the precious metals and special tools needed to produce the set of armor I had ordered are impossible to find in my own realm. I can send a woman on an expedition to acquire said materials, though it will be costly. Do it. We'll pay it off quickly enough. Yeah, we're going to have smugglers and everything appearing, but that's fine. I am no longer ill. Good. Also, my cupbearer did a terrible job. Unless he is also equally ill. I have a cupbearer, right? Let me just double check. Mine the titles. Cupbearer, I do. Um, right, next thing. I was thinking of something and I've forgotten. Oh, yeah. Council. If I wanted to... Oh, you are no longer loyal. Why not? Probably because you're ambitious. How's my wife to be doing? Still depressed. Three more years. Finally, the set of armor has been completed. Mr. Elfrith has sent me a study box which contains the item. My hands are shaking as I lift the lid. Splint mail. Fine, I'll keep the splint mail. Yeah, I just wasted 1,500 ducats on something which I already had. I guess it is still only 1,020. Still early days in the history of armor. But we should pay off this debt soon enough, so that's not a huge problem. Still going. Co-conspirator Mathusa has let slip that you are going to die at an upcoming bandit banquet, even. Cool. Make it happen, people. Make it happen. Success! It seems the wine did not agree with Legit Viking of YouTube. He died not knowing the name of his killer. I think I will celebrate with... Beer. I'd agree with that. So that's a good thing. Right, so I have a new heir. Veloran the Butcher is currently in jail. Prince of France. Okay. When I die, I will lose the Empire of Britannia. Who's the heir of Britannia, then? He is. I... Because he's in jail? No, because he's not my dynasty. Ah. Keller has formed an alliance with Lancaster. Lancaster's getting a little bit uppity. As many free passes as I'm willing to give the Lancastrians. That's getting a little concerning. Right, I seriously need an air now. If I don't, then things are going to be very, very bad. Uh, at least the guy's in jail, so he can't plot against me nearly as effectively. Also, you guys conquered more of Ireland, didn't you? It's only now Desmond. Good. I approve. Oh yeah, and... The other bonus is I now don't have someone trying to kill me. That's, that's really the big bonus. Um... You're back to ski... Okay, good. <clears throat> You're still the best man for that job. You're a moderately good person for that one. And nobody knows that I killed him either. Which is another plus. Alright, so I think I'm going to start saving up money and I'm going to build some more holdings. We're going to expand that way. My courtier, Egfrida, has offered to travel to the Chi Empire on a mission to bring glory to the Empire of Britannia. Please, my lord, let me be a humble servant, strengthen our relations to the Emperor of the Qi Empire. 
You are a terrible diplomat. So no. Who, who are you? You're, you're a random person. So no. What are you trying to do? Call my realm into disrepute? Because it certainly looks like it. Right, we've paid off the debts. Good. And there is nobody else trying to kill me, right? Right. Good. And I have a very, very good spy master, so I should be able to find that. Oh, for goodness sake, now what? Oh, it's because I'm paranoid. Yeah. I could go into hiding. I'm not going to go into hiding. Yeah, so information of all the plots is now rolling in. So long as it's not a plot to kill me or my beloved, uh, then it's all good. How old are you? One more year. Uh, 5th of February. Six months. Cool. Seven months. Uh, the White Stag. Send people to find it. Also, what's the hospital like? Uh, has some upgrades. Could do with a couple more. Although those are horrifically expensive. Smuggler's ring has been destroyed. Middlesex has been destroyed. Saddle my horse. Factions. Factions are irrelevant, although Gavelkind is starting to, to grow. Once my succession is secure, I'll need to do something about that. January. It's going to be February soon. Here it is. Betrothed can marry. Are you still a genius? You are still a genius. You're a thrifty clerk. Really? I gave you the best education. Grr. Yeah, you're right. You did a terrible job too. But at least she's a genius still. And this is not matrilineal. Alright, I'm now married. Oh, I didn't get to get a bunch of money for it. Or maybe it's because I'm out hunting. Please don't be stressed. Please don't be stressed. Damn it! Oh, what's that? Peasants of Middlesex spend a long time on the road in order to meet the priests of your claims. Oh, uh, yeah, spend money. Alright, are there any societies I wish to join? I mean, Hermetic Society would still remain the best one to do. Though my learning is not up to par. And the other ones, I believe, will reduce my fertility. Yes, I don't want that. I'm still trying to get an heir. You're starting to think that Uta might fancy me. Oh, it's you. You're the one that I marry. Eh. Hmm. <coughs> I mean, having a legitimized bastard from Uta would probably be a good thing, but it would piss off my spy master. Do it. I'm sorry. I'm going to uh, bribe you. I'm going to bribe her as well. Let's keep this a little bit quiet, shall we? All right, jolly good. It's good to be the Emperor. Jacques the Wise is getting a lot of alliances. You're not one of the people that hates me, neither are you. Though so you are blood relation. Alright, so we're starting to get some more money, so we can probably soon get another castle. Cost 600, okay. We'll save up for it, it's fine. Aid Seek of Mercia died under suspicious circumstances. Nothing to do with me, though. Also, laws. Okay, so I could change back to primogeniture at this point. And any... Any children I had a, uh, had now would be mine. Uh, 
Um, do it. Now I really need some more airs. Come on. Air and a spare. And a spare and a spare and a spare. We can do this. I have faith in you, Emperor Mordred II. Who has survived to the ripe old age of 26 without dying. So far. Oh, a son. Okay. I actually kind of wish it was mine, but... Well, it is mine, but... Mm. Was he any good? <laughs> uh, nothing special. <coughs> Hunting. Definitely. Falcon. I'm a hunter. Rabbit after rabbit was killed and brought to me by my new bird. Plus one diplomacy. Sweet. And diplomacy is the skill that I really lack, so it's all good. Still stressed. That's very annoying. Right, I have loads of money now. So I can build another holding, and I think I shall. Wessex? Wessex is mine. Sure. Build a castle. Castles are good, because I give you more troops. Someone's trying to kill someone else. What do you expect? It's the Middle Ages. New bird is almost too perfect. I enjoy every hunt with her and the cooks having trouble to find new recipes for rabbit. Oh, I am 100% taking Falconer. Word has reached me an ambitious adventurer, Stein, is gathering men to of some sort of attack on my territory. A misguided warrior is planning to attack me. Oh no. That's really unfortunate. We'll have enough money soon to get another holding, which we can probably build in Sussex. And then once I have the heirs, I can start looking at expanding the realm. Succession has to come first. Uh-oh. Shit. I wasn't expecting it to go all the way down to 200. Alright, well, you're being replaced. Um, you'll do. In fact, this... Uh, hang on. Would be a good time to abolish the council. So, let's bring you in. Let's bring... That's two. We need another two. The advisor could be replaced. I mean, these people will get their position again soon. I'm going to uh, send a couple of gifts out. See if I can make a couple of these people a little bit more, you know, malleable. Damn it, that's annoying. Losing my 23 level spy master that way. Shouldn't have given <laughs> given him such a good wife. <laughs> right, did I get any loyalty people? Loyalists. Wow, you hate my guts. I'm getting quite a few rivals. I didn't think I'd been that uh, outrageous. You want to stay in my court? No. Go away. Especially while I still have no heirs. Um. You still wouldn't be loyal. Hmm. <clears throat> 
My piety is higher than 200. You're more likely to be malcontent. Oh no, minus 39. No, you're not likely to be malcontent. That's a reduction. I see. Oh, and that's minus 10 on Zealot because of my piety is higher than yours. Or higher than 200. Okay, so what do I need for loyalty? Literally just opinion. Same. I just need more people who love me. Um, yeah, I can't really spread around any more wealth. It's, it's not going to do enough. This is the problem with having a very low diplomacy skill. I think... Now that I'm a falconer and I have the dog, I'm going to switch to family, which gives diplomacy and fertility, and also the health. So, diplomacy is up to 8, which will improve it for others, and also diplomacy means bribes are more effective. And also, that's going to be the end of this episode while I go and clear my throat. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get um, notifications when I play this in the future. Or further updates and that type of thing. If you have really enjoyed this, then do check out my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash mordredviking. There are links to it in the description below. I also have a Discord, which is where I tend to announce what I'm streaming and when. It's also where the community hangs out. They're a cool bunch. <coughs> And they know a lot about games, so if you need any tips or advice for, like, Crusader Kings or anything like that, it's a good resource for it. Thank you everyone for watching, I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.